Pearl Tutorial Part 78 Symbolic References Symbolic references are the counterpart to hard references except they do not hold the actual address and type of data item but they hold the name of that item. So for example let's create a variable Now, let's create a symbolic reference. Reference equals. Now, we just type the name of the variable here. So we've called our variable variable. So we type in the name without the dollar sign. And then we can print. our reference. So let's run this. A string of text. Now let's create a symbolic reference to an array. We reference our array by name and then we can print our reference like that. Let's run this. A to G. So we can also do this with hashes. Let's create a hash. Let's create a reference to our hash. by name and then we can print print reference run this we get hello now let's create a subroutine a subroutine called subroutine That prints out I'm a subroutine. Now let's create a reference to our subroutine. So we use the name of that subroutine. And now let's run the subroutine. like so. And now let's save this and run this. I'm a subroutine.
Now here's something to note about symbolic references. If we use my and then create variable equals say one create a reference to the variable and then print the reference this won't work it doesn't accept my so this will still print out our variable from up here. So let's have a look at this. Let's run it. So that still prints out a string of text. So the my does not work. So we would have to take that out. And then if we run this, that would work. So lexical values declared with my. do not work with symbolic references. So that's how to create and dereference symbolic references.